What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my Let's Play of 2K Showcase Mode in 2K16. We are 44% done with the showcase, and it is time for Stone Cold vs. Mr. McMahon. So far in this showcase, we have skipped over Austin in the Rumble twice. They've showed it in the video packages, but not actually had me play it. Uh, I've heard that at some point there is a Rumble in here, and obviously those would take quite some time. It would be a, a very long video uh, to play through, but it's not surprising they would skip those because those take forever. And you could imagine playing, you know, 20 or 30 minutes of a Rumble and then getting tossed out would be extraordinarily frustrating, and I'd be pretty mad about it. So, here we are though today. It is the cage match. It is the debut of Paul White, the big nasty, the big show. Uh, coming from under the ring, I believe, or through the ring, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I guess he was just hiding there the whole time or something. I think that's what happened. I don't know. We'll find out uh, shortly here. But we finally have McMahon and Austin having a match, which uh, at the time was kind of mind-blowing. Because had you been, you know, like, I started watching wrestling in 94... And there's the walk. There's the walk. There's that strut. Um. <laughs> Good grief, Charlie Brown. Uh, you know, when you... When I started watching, and when, you know... Watching for years and years of Vince being the announcer, you know, and all of a sudden he's, like, you know, the guy in charge, and he's going against Austin and all that stuff. It was kind of mind-blowing at the time. Ah, uh, Vince is running away. Closing that door. Just start climbing the cage, yeah. The match hasn't started yet. And now Vince taking advantage. <clears throat> Don't cross the boss. Boom. Faked him out. And now we can proceed to whip some ass. Into the steel. Where are the steel steps? Where exactly are the steel steps? Are they around the other side? Oh, they're over here. Okay. Only got one pair of steel steps when you have a cage, or at least the old cage, or at least that's how the game wants to do it. Damage McMahon outside the cage. I can do that. I can certainly do that. So this is, like, outside of the debut of the big show uh, in this match. I can't really recall any other fine details. I guess the one thing that, you know, sticks in your brain years and years later. Um, but, like... And I want to say Mc McMahon got busted open in this match, and he was all bloody, I think? That sounds right, I don't know. That's... Obviously, I'm sure someone will mention it in the comments, as they always do. Uh, because, certainly, all these fine matches available to watch on the WWE Network. Uh, although, some of that stuff, like... At least when they show the video package, some of that stuff, uh... They'll turn anything extra bloody like bl black and white which is annoying now that, that that wasn't a grapple apparently not apparently that, that was that was not a grapple so let's pick up again and hit grapple okay low blow the um 
The washing machine's flipping out right now. Kind of busy, though. He's going to the table. That's down. Head into the bump. Like, the fact that the boss of the company was taking bumps like that is insane. Insane. And the match hasn't started yet. There's Howard Finkel. Yeah, the Fink. Checking on him. That's bullshit. Ah, the bell didn't ring. What are you climbing for, Steve? The door's open. What are you doing? Trying to get the, the chairman of WWE to the safety and to, to get him some medical help. But Austin again coming down from the cage. Wait a minute, there was Steve Austin coming Like the door was open, that doesn't make any sense. Yep, right into the cage. Nice. So, one of my favorite moments of all time, and it might have been a pay-per-view, I can't actually remember. Uh, I want to say it was pay-per-view, where they had that stretcher board, and I want to say it was the big show strapped Mysterio to it, and then swung it into the ring post. And obviously, when you're strapped to it, you can't get your hands down. So he just kind of got some of the post and just kind of fell straight down onto his face. It looks so sick. Go look that up. It's fantastic. Uh, I, I want to say it was Big Show and Mysterio doing that. Um, but that was a phenomenal moment with the uh, treacher board here. And this is still a cutscene, so this is still kind of going. I'm waiting for gameplay. Hey, hey gameplay! Second rope elbow drop. No, it's top rope. How about you go to the second rope? Not to... Hold on. Um, Climb on the second rope with L1 and press square. Oh, L1. L1. There we go. I was holding the run button. Different thing. Different thing. So basically what happened here was that Vince won the Rumble, and this is Austin fighting Vince for the right to be, uh, to have his shot at the champion at Mania. And this was kind of their in-between pay-per-view, pay in-between the Rumble and, uh, Mania, which is why it's, uh, St. Valentine's Day Massacre. In February. Sick. I ain't done yet. Uh-uh. None. None. No one is as, as insane as, as, as Vince is. 
Grapple him. I can do that. I do miss the old cage stuff, you know, like obviously like there was the old blue cage and, and it's here but it's black. I, I still like the old cage design and I like that better better before it got, you know, kind of revamped. They made it a bunch higher, which is not, like you kind of d don't expect people to go up there anymore to the top and go off it because it's so much higher. And there's McMahon busted open, as I did recall happened in this match, I'm pretty sure. So, mercifully, sweet, merciful crap. Double birds. More objectives, more checkpoints. Former charged finisher. I can do that. Um, I think I can do that if I can actually get this to, uh... Nope. Back! Body drop! Mmm. Alright, well now you gotta actually manage to get past Vince doing all his bullshit. No, not what I wanted. I wanted to do a Thez Press, and apparently I got too much, too much heat, too much, uh, whatever it is, of the juice. The juice is loose. He reversed that, really? God damn it. So now the game's gonna be impossible all of a sudden, even though I'm, I'm on easy here. And McMahon just whiffed there, just, that was a, that was a thunder shot. Thunderous. Just grab, damn it. I just can't seem to get fucking started here, and it's just going real bad now. Pissing me off. And you wouldn't like me pissed off. There we go. Do something to him, yeah, alright. Now, on the ground. And I'm out of fucking stamina. Of course I am! Why wouldn't I be? He's gonna, he's gonna get up before, before I do, which is... Nuts. He's got a bulldog there. I saw that. There it goes. I saw it. Stunner. And there's the big show. That's Paul White. AKA the big nasty, the big show. It? The days before the proliferation of of the internet, so it was very much. It was like I had no idea that he had left WCW and defected over. Like I, I so that was a complete shock to me. Um, but perhaps if I had been reading the dirt sheets at the time, uh, I would have known. But occasionally they've been able to keep these things secret. Um, occasionally, when, you know, certain, like, when Del Rio came back, like, and had no fucking idea, like, hadn't even heard any rumors of it. Uh, and then Austin wins, because the cage broke, hits the floor. Ah, son of a bitch. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. And that will do it for today. Tomorrow will be Stone Cold vs. The Rock, WrestleMania 15. As a reminder, I am going to be doing the bonus matches at the end of the showcase. So there's been three, I think, so far that have shown up here in this list. So that will happen. Have no fear. But uh, tomorrow, Stone Cold, The Rock, Mania 15. That should be fun. Uh, as always, I am your host, Sax. This has been my 2K showcase. Let's play in 2K16. And I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.